Um, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for according me this opportunity. And from the onset, I support this special motion. First, our supreme law of the land expects the presidency, which includes the president and the deputy, to be a symbol of national unity. In that case, the holders of that office are expected to portray a national image as opposed to an ethnic outlook. Honorable Speaker, our Deputy President has been at the forefront in advancing a selfish ethnic agenda. For him, it is about his community and nothing more. After an election, uh, Mr. Speaker, the government has to serve both those who voted for it and those who did not. It was wrong for the deputy president to advocate for shareholding in order to discriminate against the rest of the communities, which may create ethnic um, animosity against Mount Kenya region. As a county member of parliament, I think I have traversed this nation more than the deputy president. Secondly, Honorable Speaker, the Deputy President, as the second in command, should act as a father figure to members of Parliament and uh, the community at large. Far from it, the Deputy President, during his tenure, has been divisive and very egocentric. For him, it is about me myself and I. It is unfortunate that he has lowered the status and respect expected of such high office. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, when we went to the people urging them to elect this government, we gave them an undertaking that women must be respected. It is therefore, it disturbs me so greatly when the deputy president is at the forefront demeaning women in leadership, particularly those he perceives his enemies. He has no respect for women whatsoever. He has made a scathing public attacks on a woman high court judge. And in addition, he has been attacking women, and especially members of parliament, me and others included in this house. And therefore, he can never, and he has no respect for women, and he can never work with women. And for, for those few remarks, I support. Makali Mulu. Yeah, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, for this opportunity. Honorable Speaker, I want to say the following. Impeachment of a Deputy President is a matter of national interest and in national